In the first instance, during the first wave, people did not believe much about COVID-19. But at some point, when they started getting more numbers and, and, and it was hitting home, some of their family members or their relatives were being affected. So people embraced this kind of information and they started to learn more and getting their facts right. So the training for the community health volunteers was about COVID-19 in terms of the content. So it was a two-day training program across these five sites um, with a total of 60 community health volunteers who participated. It was a, a virtual learning forum at these sites where I could share the modules and discuss ways of how COVID-19 spreads as well as how do you mitigate not to get this COVID-19, what are the symptoms and signs, how do you differentiate COVID-19 symptoms and signs with the normal flu and cold symptoms and signs. And finally, how do you refer, how do you refer in the community suspected cases to the healthcare centers? Once they are done, now they were sent to their communities to spread this info information and to sensitize the community in terms of COVID-19. So I mean, we have a lead team. Katika wale CHV swenzangu ni lua nominate katika vitongo jiduni tofauti. Tulipata training direct na doctor kutoka Afya Rich. Nikajua COVID ni preventable of which ni mwanzo ni kuwasijui. And then pia nilijua myth and misconception ya mta. Kusu COVID kuna watu kwa kisema ukidungwa shindano. Kwa huta za, huta pata watoto. Kwa uta, uta kufa mapema, uta after two years. So hizo zote nilijua ni myth na misconception. Inategemea na immune system ya mtu, mwili wa mtu. Kwa hivyo kabla ujaenda kuchukua ile shindano, unafaa ujue hali yako na umueleze daktari, ndio upate the right direction from daktari peke yake. Kilichofanya tu join hii program ni kwamba tukiwacha mbali myth na misconceptions tulikuwa nazo, tulikuwa hatuamini kwamba hili jambo lipo. So alipokuja a trusted person ambaye kwamba alikuwa ni Abu Najma na akiwa na rafiki yake ambaye kwamba ni daktari Dr. Abdurazak ambaye kwamba ndo ana, anafanya pamoja na ni initiative wametuletea from Afya Rich it was easy for us to trust na kukaa chini na kuweza kumsikiza after tumepata hii knowledge ilikuwa ni kama responsibility juu yetu kuja kuifikisha so that is why a passion ilikuja katika kufanya hii kazi Watu wa Afrika walikuja wakantembelea wakanambia ni oshe mkono ni vai mask na, na ni kaisho show distant Kama si mambo ya <coughs> ilikuwa nimefungwa nyumba miezi tatu na ile pesa ndio imenisaidia sana nikalipa nyumba na nashukuru sana na ningetaka sana iendelee sababu so, mimi mimi nifaidisha sana I found out a young lady and uh, she shared one of the stories that she was suffering from a condition which was unknown. And she described that she used to go to different clinics for many years and only get painkillers, but they did not know what she was suffering from. I was born 2018, so I was born in 2018, so I was born in 2018, I was born in 2018, I was born in 2018, miguzi kakata kufanya mpaka leo ni miaka 4 hakuna kitu naweza kufanya and in the end during the discussion is i realized she is suffering from a rare genetic disease and 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 for me to encounter that and also to give my advice and the next steps i think was reassuring for the family and is one of the moments that i felt like we had an impact in the community i think in round 1 we were able to reach close to 20,000 house, households or individuals. 
we were able to distribute quite a number of masks which were key in the prevention. Uh, we also distributed uh, through the implementing partner um, hand sanitizers and soaps, right? And uh, to the tail end of the project, we were able to offer um, food vouchers to the vulnerable families because COVID-19 had a huge impact on the economic activities of, of, of these beneficiaries that we were targeting who are at the bottom of the pyramid. I would say that we have done our part um, in regarding to this three-way um, approach to this COVID-19 program. One was the health measures, two was the economic support, and, and, and the three was regarding the water uh, installations. And we have done our part in terms of the little that we could provide. But of course, it is all depends on partners coming together and, and supporting these kind of communities who are vulnerable. Um, I would like to say thank you very much to the entire Mark Family Foundation. Und einfach vielen Dank für Ihre großzügige Spende. And here in Kenya we say Asante sana.